Hi guys, I'm Big Mac. Thanks, Paul Fry. And I'm Sunday. And we're Poots Poots. And we are here at the Hollywood and Vine at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Right now, you have mini summertime dine going on. It's like a uh, summer beach party themed event. It's a buffet, so we're going to take a look at what they have, meet and greet with the characters, follow us. We're from Las Vegas, so buffets have quite buffets. a reputation to live up to. Yeah. Alright. Follow us, guys. Like and subscribe, you better hit that bell. Hi guys, so we are here at Mini Summertime Dine at the Hollywood Vine at Disney Hollywood Studios. So they only do this at dinner time. Breakfast and lunch are with Disney Junior characters. If you want to see like the classic Disney characters, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, they're going to be here in the evening only. Now, they do this seasonally. Every three months they change the theme and the menu for the buffet. It is, what is it, $50 a person, I think? $50 a person, but it includes all you can eat and photo op with the characters. Might so, be more than that. When you no, I think it's I think it's fifty dollars. So when you put, consider it all, it's really not that bad because you're gonna spend that much or more in a regular sit-down restaurant, and you're getting a good variety. And you get to meet Donald. You get to meet him. He's right there. I love him. Donald's her favorite. He's my never mind. Yes, he does. Don't you lie. All right, guys, let's go check out the food. Oh, look, it's all the stuff that I'm not going to eat. They do have fresh coleslaw, field greens, and Caesar salad, though. Muscles. Alright guys, so we hit the soup and salad bar and also like a little seafood section. They have these green lit mussels, but they look like somebody, uh, I, like, I don't know, like someone with yellow fever picked them up. Like they're disgusting. They look horrible. But I got the corn chowder, the vegetable soup, a spitzvak roll, which a spitz is a Pomeranian and vak is a wheat, so Pomeranian wheat rolls. I don't know. It's questionable. 
a little bit of cornbread, some spinach and arugula strawberry salad, and some peel and eat shrimp. I got that same salad, but I got some of this, um, I don't remember the name of the cheese, it starts with a B, but it's a marinated cheese. I have croutons, I have some cherry tomatoes that I was a little shocked when I pulled them out and they already had like balsamic on them. I was like, why are these tomatoes slimy? Because they already have balsamic but bread on them. I have a broccoli and soy nut slaw, which looks yummy, and a little mini corn muffin. Oh, and here's oh, Mickey Mouse! <laughs> Hi, Mickey! All right, guys, I got a fresh set of fresh lettuce salad. It's got stuff. It's lettuce, okay? Put some ranch on top, and I have that same cheese. It's Botranichi. Sorry if I butchered that. I'm not aware of how it is pronounced exactly. And the goddamn. Pomeranian weak bread. Weak Pomeranian bread. Also, how dare he? He did not inform me of the shrimp. And you did not inform me of the shrimp. Is right next to the mussels. And I didn't find the, the mussels. Are next to the cocktail sauce. I, didn't I don't think he went that far. Yeah, they're right there. They're right there in front of you. I just went to the salad. Oh, Here it's Daisy Ducks. <laughs> Daisy. She's ready for her close up. <laughs> Because she's fabulous. She's fabulous. I love her hat. So let's try the vegetable soup. It looks like you've got like onion and celery and corn and carrots. It looks pretty good. Mm. It's like tomato broth in a tin. It's really good. I like it. Yeah. Uh, corn chowder. We've got corn in here, potatoes, I think there's some celery and some red pepper, a little bit of onions. Mm. It's really good. I like it. It has like a sweetness in the corn. Yeah. It's really nice. And it's really creamy. It's good. Hey guys, let's just butter up this roll. I'm sure you're all amazed. It's a roll with butter on it. What does it taste like Pomeranian? Kind of. Kind of. A little bit. Also, I don't know if I had a Pomeranian and anything he'd been into then tasted awful. <laughs> and he tried to eat all of my food. All right, so we got some peeling shrimp, guys. Let's see if it's as good as bubba gum. That's some good soup. Yeah, it's that's some good really soup. yummy. It says peel and eat, but I don't think I can feel it. So that just means you eat it, skin it all, like a man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Public hope is better. I wonder why he's saying that, guys. I'm gonna try some of this broccoli and soy nut slaw. You got your cabbage, your carrots, there's soy nuts in there. It looks like there's some craziness too. It's yummy. It's very sweet. It's really crunchy. It's good. I like it a lot. I'm just trying the Pomeranian bread right now. Since you guys, I'm sure, are ready for it, and so am I. Try the salad with the mozzarella cheese. Excuse me. Bocchanichi. So the cheese, it's very fresh. It's fresh mozzarella. It's got some seasoning on it. And it adds something. It adds something all right. Just, it's not something that you have to add. It's not that great. Um, and the lettuce, it's nice, fresh, crisp, good. Some good lettuce right there. Salads are great. 
So when I first got the spinach, arugula, and strawberry salad, I didn't think there was dressing on it because I tried a piece and I didn't see any. But now that I'm mixing it up a little bit, I think it did have a dressing on it. So now it has balsamic and whatever dressing that they already put on it. I don't think mine has any dressing on it. Now I feel chipped. Let me try it, guys. So also, they have Caesar salad, and it tastes like, it's like slimy, and kind of tastes like they put all the dressing on it, and let it sit in the freezer overnight, Ew. and put it on the plate. It's pretty terrible. So I got the baked chicken with buffalo and ranch, the shrimp mac and cheese, the lobster cheese sauce, the corn, bum bum, this maple glazed pork, which looks amazing, and what's on these meatballs? It says it's sweet and sour. Sweet sour meatballs. Sour meatballs. All right, guys, let's try the corn. <coughs> Corny. I don't have the regular corn. I have the cream corn and edamame succotash. Um, I also have some green beans. I have some sustainably sourced salmon. I have a ravioli with sun-dried tomato sauce, and I don't remember what it's filled with. I imagine cheese. And I also have the glazed pork. I'm sorry, I did not find the one with edamame. Otherwise, I would have gotten that because edamame is wonderful. Anyways, I got the corn. The wait, it's not shrimp shack, dang it. The shrimp mac and cheese. Yeah, I got a shrimp in it. I think. Uh, I got this. Wait a second. Wait There's something that small fry doesn't like. I think it's it, the cream corn succotash. Maybe I'm not it's sorry not I didn't get it. Never mind, I take back my statement. <laughs> Anyways guys, I also got this uh these green beans here. Green corn. Well this I don't want to try the cream chicken. corn. Roast chicken. Right? That is what it is, I think so. Anyways, I'm gonna try this meatball. Now I got a spoon. So let's see this. It was nasty. Good news about this meatball, you can cut it with your spoon. If you can't cut a meatball with your spoon, there's a problem with that meatball. That's first off. Now I'm gonna try this corn so I can compare that corn from this corn. That's a good corn. Also, he found something that's good. I tried the meatball. It's delicious. You know that drink you tried at Baseline Dogs? Or no, the, the cheese sauce. Yeah. That's that corn. That's that corn sauce, Dad, right there. So remember, guys, that 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 cheese sauce from Baseline Tab House. That's also this corn over here. The, the corn suck attack. Sure, that can't be because I enjoyed the, the cheese sauce. That was actually I thought it was pretty good. That corn's disgusting. Okay, so he changed his mind since then. The green beans. Changed his mind. That was all my, always my opinion. Green beans are. Good. They're cooked really nicely and they're really juicy, but there's a lot of pepper on them. If you're oh like God. me and you don't like a lot of pepper, you're gonna be in for a bad time. <laughs> you're gonna be in for a bad time. The green beans are really over seasoned. She's like, yeah. like really over seasoned. So that to get that garbage out of my mouth, let's go with the uh, let's go with this mac and cheese with some shrimpies in it. some pretty good shrimp mac and cheese. But oh, that shrimp track mac and cheese was better. Just saying. There's one thing. You know, bubblegum nails, it's shrimp. And some cheese. So, excuse me. If you guys have any interest in going down to the Orlando 
international premium outlets here, well, here in Orlando. There's a place called the Lobster Trap. And this mac and cheese reminded me of it. I don't know why, mac and cheese is pretty good, but their food is horrible. I know exactly what it is. It's a truck. Yeah. You need Admiral Akbar there to warn people away. It was disgusting. We ate there a couple weeks ago. It was like bad fish and garbage still on one plate. <laughs> was the chicken spicy? Let's try the chicken. Oh, that chicken is spicy. Oh, that's a bone. I got a big bone. Oh. Thank God for Sprite. Mm. That's good. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Brown? Yeah. She's feeling you it, Mr. Brown. I don't know what I'm feeling. Ow, 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 Fingers crossed that the salmon is safe for my little baby tongue. At least he's not as cheap as Mr. Scrooge. Then it'd be his first dime, not his first dollar. Burning my mouth off. It's really nice. My lips are legit burning, you guys. Oh my god, the ravioli. So, a little info about the chicken though. I just like cut off another piece of it into it, and these little, it, this is like rib. I had little chicken ribs through it. So, I had to be careful with that because you might end up swallowing some bones. filming me? No, oh, hello guys. So I just ate the maple glazed, or no, what is it? Peach glazed pork. And whereas it's very spicy, a lot of food here is really spicy. Something to keep in mind if you're sensitive to spice or like have little kids. But maple, or maple peach glazed pork was really good. Tender, juicy, and had a, the, the glaze had a really nice flavor to it. Alright guys, so I have the Corvinia fish stew. I tried one of them spicy raviolis, the paella, and a fried shrimp. Let's try the paella. Mm. Alright. The rice is cooked well. It doesn't have a very diverse flavor. It's not a bland food, I'm And small fries back. Well, right there. Let's try the fish stew. Mm. Wait a minute. Yeah, I guess it's fish. It's not very fishy, it's a rather meaty fish. I like it. Like the, the sauce is nice and like savory. And hey guys, don't worry. She found them. So you know you're gonna hear from me and Big Mac about the tweez. The tweez. Alright guys, I got this here fried shrimp. I wish it was coconut shrimp, but it's not. Hold on, got some tail. There, that's good.
That's a good shrimp. What do you got, Smart Brad? So they tell you when you come in that the buffet is the same on both sides. sides. And it is, with the exception of the children's section. Because on our side, we have some like little herb roasted potatoes and this macaroni and cheese that I have here and tater tots. On the other side, they have an herb roasted chicken, broccoli, plain pasta, chicken nuggets. So I got a little bit of stuff from both sides because I went exploring because I am a child. I also have turkey and this potato dish that has like bacon and it has pickles in it. Now let's try these potatoes together. Yours doesn't have pickles. Well, mine does. It has a pickle. It's a pickle tater. No, mine's got onions. And it's really tough. Kind of weird. It's not bad. You've never had like a cooked pickle before? I don't know. I'm not mad at it. How about the potato? The potato's good. It's nice and soft. It's well seasoned. But then you get that like tangy pickle. Very interesting. So guys, if you're gonna get these uh, potatoes, get the get the children's potatoes, not these ones. These ones are tough and not very seasoned well. Still gonna eat it well. <laughs> I got this roast beef here and I'm gonna try it. As well as this turkey. Did you still have a fork? Nope. <laughs> My god, it's like watching the Nature Channel. <laughs> That's a mediocre roast beef. Mediocre is all you can use to describe that. And the homeless nerd encroaches on his meal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't not look homeless. I have two shirts, thank you. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's some good turkey. I wish I had turkey gravy, not brown gravy. The brown gravy pulls me out of the fantasy. Also, it's cold now. Again. Huh. Fine. We got dessert. <laughs> All right. We got this chocolate chip cookie brownie thingy. Looks good. Again, a banana cream puff. I've got a what is this? A passion fruit pearl cheesecake. It's cheesecake with little gold pearls on top. It's got boba. Yeah. It's a strawberry. A cheesecake. chocolate pot de creme. I don't know what that one is, but it looks really good. That's the raspberry parfait. And what's that? A passion, passion fruit, fruit tart. tart. Passion fruit tart. There it's you go, guys. Squishy. Yeah, it's got like a squishy graham cracker crust. All right, what do you want to start with, small fry? Everything! Let's try I guess it. I'll try this because it's right near me. Yeah. I have proof of this dessert. You know why? <laughs> There's no Sundays there. Mm. Hey, so here's the problem. They have a soft serve machine, but they don't have any ice cream cones. How can Same. a buffet not have ice cream cones? Same. Disappointed. Oh, dare they? Exactly. It's so yummy. It's super good. Well, I can eat like 10 of them. Uh, let me clean off my knife, I guess. Clean off your spoon. But well, my spoons are already got napkin on. Just swirl it in your Sprite. It's like so like light and creamy. It's really nice. It's really good. I loved it. It's not like overbearingly sweet. It's super nice. Oh yeah, that's really good. So, oh, so we are originally from Las Vegas. We go, we know buffets. And there are a few things missing from the dessert section. You have to have a buffet. One, ice cream cones. How do you not do that? Two, have you ever had chocolate mousse cups? Chocolate mousse cups, they're delicious. Like soft chocolate mousse, hard chocolate on the outside. Yeah. They're ridiculous. Pie. Dirt and worms. Yeah. Dirt and worms in the kitty section. There's some things you were slacking on, Disney. We're not liking it. Change it. Let's try the passion fruit tart. Yeah. Yay. Look at how squishy it is. I, I killed it. it. I'm going to stab it. killed it in. Hold on, I'll wait for you to get it. Come on, because I'm nice. Come on. I'm polite. 
Don't believe it. Why? Don't don't believe what I just said. Yes. It's very nice. It's a nice citrusy tang. I like it. The graham cracker crust really rounds it out. There is no key lime pie. That's not a bad substitute. Nope. That is a very big fan of sourness and hardness in general. I must say, that was delicious. Alright, let's try this banana cream puff. I'm not going to try it. I don't like bananas. Do I have to? You can't stab it. It's I unstabbable. Do. Bite Camera it. lady says I have to. It's it's, it's unstabbable. Womp, womp. Give me that book. What even is left in it? Stole. It all fell on the table. I put it in my mouth and then it exploded in my hand. <laughs> that happens to you a lot, doesn't it, Big Mac? Here comes the and in true food foods tradition. The next dessert we're going to try is covered in balls. Yes. <laughs> but before that, what about the banana cream puff? Not sure if all the banana is in cream. It good. probably is. It doesn't have a really big banana flavor, which if you like me and don't like bananas, we're going to choose more right. That's a good thing. I just want to put the balls in there. But if you don't like, if you do like bananas, make sure you actually get the cream in there. There's enough of them that you can juggle them around. Alright, let's give it a try. Big Mac's gotta put the balls in his mouth first, that's the way he is. Yeah, he's very dominant in that fact. <laughs> <laughs> so. The cheesecake is nice, and then the fruit balls, they like, explode in your mouth. It's because it's called popping bubble. Yeah, it's nice. That cheesecake is excellent. Damn it. If you don't get a lot of flavor from the boba, yeah. but the balls do leak into your mouth. Dear God. Yeah, it's, it's advertised as a strawberry cheesecake, but... You pretty much can't taste the strawberry unless you get no, it's strawberry pearl oh. cheesecake. The pearls are strawberry. Is it? You basically don't get any strawberry flavor without it. Ah. Sorry guys, we had some technical difficulties. Alright, let's try this thing in. I'm just taking it first, don't you even think about it. Go for it. Welcome back, Daisy! Uh, look, how hat, look how cute her hat is. Daisy, you need to be It is a very nice hat. Hi, Daisy! It's dark chocolate. It's so good. The white chocolate little crusty things on top are really nice. Oh, I love eating crusty things. <laughs> it's not that good. He has no taste. It's not that good. Really. He lies. Yeah, it's not that good. They're both liars. She just doesn't like dark chocolate, so. That's a lie. Yes, uh, it is. But that's really, really like sour and bitter. Yeah. Damn it, I'm just making a mess. You must have gotten. Oh, you ate the strawberry, didn't you? I ate the raspberry. The raspberry, yeah. That's your problem. I didn't eat any of the raspberry. So. Still horrible. Are you She's on the line. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's because I just tried that, the little pot de creme, but it really doesn't taste like much of anything. It really doesn't. Stale. It's like you're eating a cake made of nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nothing cake. That's Nothing a good cake. description. With some chocolate chips in it. I got the chocolate chip. That was about it. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this chocolate right here. This chocolate. I don't know. What was that? So, whereas all the other characters for this, for this dinner will come to your table, Donald Duck is strictly at the exit. So, you're going to take this nice card they give you up to Donald and he'll take a photograph with you and sign your own book. Hey, 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 fun fact it's also the entrance, and you can actually get this picture anytime during your meal. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Duck, Donald Duck. Get ready for him. Oh, Alexander, I hope that they want to get ready for Donald Duck. No, my phone. Take my phone. Yeah. Yeah. The whole family's looking to get this up. Alright guys, so that was our experience at the Hollywood Vine here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. What do you think of this small rock? Um, so I feel like you're really paying to hang out with characters more than anything else. <laughs> Buffet wise, there wasn't a whole lot of selection. What there was wasn't like super good. A lot of it was kind of spicy or over seasoned. Um, so you're really paying the price just to go and hang out with all your favorite, like, of the Fab Five. Except food. Because you can get more food for less money at Golden Corral. So. so, with what Small Fry said, I feel like if you do have kids and you're going to be the characters, this is a great opportunity for a couple of reasons. One being in air conditioning. So instead of waiting out in the hot sun for all that time, you can be there and comfortable and sit at the table because the characters will come to the table. Um, additionally, it rains a lot here in Florida, so there are a lot of days when you'll be out waiting in line and the thunderstorm will come through. And if you're indoors, you don't worry about that. I would say there was a good variety. I mean, there was stuff for kids, and there, there was good stuff for adults. Some of it was, like, really, like, overseasoned. They didn't have an issue with that. And, well... And certain things just looked completely unappetizing. Like the blue and mussels, you'll see it early on in the video. We didn't try them because yeah, I couldn't really put that in my mouth. Really I, I would not do it. Like they were sitting in like swamp water. Yeah. yeah, and then the Caesar salad was dreadful. And that succotash. But on the other hand, like the pork, it was pork was spicy, but it was delicious. The roast beef and the turkey were both really good. Um, the potatoes were nice. Uh, the mac and cheese is good. Oh, you're talking about the shrimp mac and cheese. Yeah. I had like little kids mac and cheese and it was just covered in Velveeta's. And that is exact, the point he just made is the exact point I was going to make before somebody cut me off. Well, you're a jerk. While most of it, a lot of it, was terrible, there were a lot of things that were good as well. Like, as you said, that turkey, the macaroni and cheese with the shrimp in it, I really like the cornbread. Yeah, so there were some things that were really great and some things that really weren't. It wasn't, I wouldn't say there was much of an in-between. There were a couple things that were just like mac, but a lot of it was like, hey, it's really good, or... Yeah, it was really hit or miss. And I ate so much, I got hiccups. I don't know, and it's, it really wasn't terrible. You do get a discount with your annual pass, if you are the annual pass holder. It's, for us, I'm not sure we're going to be doing it again. Probably but, not. If you like, for, if there are certain reasons you would like to eat here. Yeah. Like, if I go to a buffet, when I leave the buffet, I want to feel like I have to leave in a wheelbarrow. I want to feel like I gained 600 pounds while I was in there, that I ate so much food. And I didn't. Yeah, no. I didn't eat that much food. There's a lot of stuff where it's just like, you try it once, it's like, oh, really? yeah. yeah. There was nothing that really wanted you to made you want to go back to that item specifically besides the desserts.
One thing is, though, here, the characters are in unique costumes, depending on the theme. Like, right now, it's a summer beach party. Later on, it's going to be, like, a Halloween party. And then, like, a Winter Wonderland. They change it seasonally. They change the food and the costumes every three months. We like, are also themed for a summer beach party. We are. Even yes, though we it's are. Grand Gross outside. <laughs> Welcome to Sunny Florida. Like, for instance, as you just saw, Donald in his lifeguard costume. Yeah. Hey, well, I think that's about it for us. Thank you very much, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. You better like and subscribe. I'm watching you. Check us out on Twitter as well. Yep. Follow your dreams. We'll see you in the next bite.